Welcome back. In the last episode, we had many battles, uh, so let's keep things uh, going here. Uh, I think Army of Northwest is going to go up here and challenge this uh, army. And I'm not sure how it will end up. Might be a siege battle or automatic battle. Uh, the readiness is maybe too low for him to fight. need a better general <laughs> okay here it is almost to the gun two to one and with eight guns but uh, if we win it uh, will help us by dabbing this army in better uh, prepa better prepared than before And we don't really mind casualties. We always have more. Uh, we always have more men to call from. Sorry, but I don't really feel 100% well right now. But, like, well enough to stand and talk and all that, but not... Uh, not great. Uh, and I am attacking them. That's just plain stupid. Mm -hmm. I could order a retreat. Uh, we'll check out what I have. I don't think I have that modern weapons. So... If I don't have modern weapons, then... Hmm. Well... These two are our modern weapons. Okay. Um, it is like 2 in the afternoon. So let's, if we attack, we must attack with the better weapons up front and uh, the lesser weapons uh, coming in. Check out where it's a good spot for us to advance. There's almost going to be one road, either here uh, or uh, I think the enemy will be here, the wooded areas with trenches. Uh, so we will have to go through, I think we should go through the woods here, and into the enemy. We advance. Way to speed it. In terms of actual numbers, I shouldn't. Uh, 
Yeah, well. Let's go. Move, 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 move. I don't know why this balance of power says it's so much in my favor. Okay, now it's uh, not in my favor anymore. I think now it's in my favor. Now they have start, got started gathering some points, and that will cost me. Uh oh. Pause. Okay, that's a dance up here. Uh Lay down and hold. Uh huh. Uh, let's see where this officer is from. He's from here, so let's hold. Give them lead, son. Give them lead. I'm waiting for the end. Plain right is doing very well. Fortunately, it's their first battle. I'm trying to get this other brigade in a good position. Whatever, my man. Yeah. 
killing them. <laughs> Enemy is battery, okay, sure. But the enemies in the open and okay there they were there they went okay hold steady by the marshlands yes we know damn you Evacuate! Allow us to fire! Okay, lay down here because there's no point standing up. So aggressive.
same time. Oh, we have. They are going. They might uh, come back. Two percent, so they Just speed up a little, so we go a little bit better. Three percent, eight percent. That was stupid of them, but thank you. Now we can send skirmishers out from here. Okay. Ah. Enemies too close, yeah that's a good shot. Well they could be closer, sir. Keep your friends close. But your enemy closer. We have Let's see. We should uh, probably advance up to this forest line so that we threaten their uh, artillery. Uh, other than that, we can just hold where we are. why they're so eager to trade positions with each other. They could have just stayed where they were. And, uh, well, these men are nervous. So they are like back to fighting shape. Uh -huh. And now these men are ready. I'm just tired. Like in terms of men, they are extremely exhausted and everything else. Let's just come with it. 47% uh, unstable. Well, that's a good news, sir. Well done. Now we can advance with these men up here again. speed or five speed Here we go, we are... We 
uh, ordering them. Going there. And it seems to. Even the battery seems to be very low in morale. Maybe it's time to push her, sir. Push them back. Oh, sir. Hold them for me, sir. Gee, why is it taking so long? There. No? Huh. I thought they turned. Uh, these men are nervous. 39, and now they're confident again. Uh, that's good to hear. Uh huh. Let's see if they could. And stop here while we hold the other positions. Okay, double time it. So it's not exactly how we wanted it to go. A lot. Okay, here they come. Old position. Huh. Uh, well, guys, lay down. Okay, the enemy has superior weapons here. I can nothing but uh, stand up. They are idiots gathering up in uh, column formations.
Let aim. Position. So steady. Wow, he really hurt me there in the flank. And also skirmishers. And also skirmishers here. You have to take the fire and put some fire into the enemy whilst we advance up. Oh, enemy cavalry here. Okay. Okay, and hold, and fire. Behind my lines even. Wow. Enemy is more uh, superior than we understand. They have surrounded us. There is no escape, sir. What are we to do? Damn rebels everywhere! Behind every damn tree there's a rebel. What happened to good uh, old fashioned order? First? Where's the law? Where's the dignity?
Why are you stupid? Just stand and shoot, man. We have to do it run. Now why are we shooting this specific man when we should be just going straight at the end of the tree? Here we double time it so we can uh, make some more, pro more progress. Yeah, you better halt, man. You like they're coming there straight for you. That's no. That wouldn't be very smart. Yeah, hold yourself positioned there. There, there you can hold while the rifles are coming up to support. This we can advance up here. Okay, they're like demoralized, they should fall back then. Uh, let's see, let's see, my men should be starting to gather up again. Ah, they can uh, they have ability to shoot when they're not, when they're falling back, but not when they're... Oh, uh, wow, that's a devastating cannon, canister shot. Uh, these men are almost ready. There we go. Routed their artillery. Game and reload. Oh, you can be a guard now and fall back even further, sir. Why are they so... Uh, why do they want to turn so much? Go over there. Maybe it's the cannons over here that I can't uh, stop, so... Well, sir, that's not very kind of them at all, is it? And also skirmishers. But this time, let's go here. Okay. 
Total death one also a bit too enthusiastic. Wow, that must have Mississippi rifles, I think. I should probably send out skirmisher here so I can get more men and here and halt and then get the plain rifle first Alt here Yeah, we can shoot them in the flanks, so that's a wonderful idea Those excellent Man, reload. Well, we are shooting their artillery, sir. That's good. Artillery now, so now it's even.
try to harass the other regiments so it's not just one single regiment. Let's keep firing, sir. Keep firing. Keep moving. Keep killing. I have enough killing power here. This, like, this is a very good, uh, I think, uh, blank. Trying to get the enemy to get provoked to get a soul attack. <laughs> oh lord, here they come. I suppose I have to fall back to this position here and the same pulling that side.
ahead. They're out flanking us. They're out flanking us, sir. Maybe I can take one of their detachments here. I think I have no cavalry, right? I can't go through. I have to run with my smaller brigade. And since these are muskets, man, they are not as valuable as a rifle and musket. So I can sort of afford to fall back with them. Running out of ammunition. Oh, that was a good sir. Can we run all the way up here? Please. I have to try to maneuver myself so I can shoot the enemy whilst uh, they are not shooting me and then I have to retreat with my skirmisher brigade so I don't want them to go through there right so I will have to hold them somewhere where their enemy is not in, in the way ah <sighs> The skirmisher, so just keep firing there. And the plane rifle is also in position. Come on, skirmishers, go! And also skirmishers here. Harass them. I don't think we are using everybody.
can shoot them, right? Oh, no, don't. Just hold yourselves against the enemy and hold in lay down position so that you are a bit better protected. And why are you so cowardly, sir? There's nothing there. Come on. Cancel out skirmishers here, and we should. Bands up here and take that ground. I highly doubt that enemy.
Yeah, they are standing there and letting them for some shot at. And I'm hoping that this uh, skirmish brigade has a clear route all the way to the uh, objective. And that can thus give me points in the future. Maybe they can shoot it with the uh, element. seem to be very really, very really pushy but they don't have to but uh, they should think that well the enemy shoots us and we are not firing back we just get weaker we should advance that's that's what they should be thinking but instead they just lay down here which granted gives them a higher survivability but they're not inflicting casualties upon me We should be thinking, oh well, we should attack.
put on our skirmishers now. Or D Day. Oh, they ran back to their regiment. They said, oh no, I am not gonna go there, sir. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, I thought that was a good move, but they were too demoralized to go there. Yeah, I have no men. These men are gonna go back to their main regiment because they're out of ammunition. Advance up there. You can hold your position there. Hold this one. So now you know why artillery is needed because the forest and all that is just uh, overwhelming, sir. Or maybe they were running and I interrupted them. Come on, run. Run, you fools. They should be able to target these uh, brigades, and these men are standing up. So that's a good uh, option. Oh man. Have the men fire. And not just at those men over there, I want them to shoot more uh, into everybody else also. They are so focused on that unit. Come on, shoot this unit. Or any unit! Maybe I managed to shoot those men. Yeah, maybe I did. Should be able to fire at them. 
from maximum range. And these men are also moving up, so we will have like a small drive and up the forest. Finally, we're causing some losses to them, but they are just turning around. skirmishers here. I don't think we have skirmishers there. Uh, turn out. Push them out from their. Uh, yeah, we must push them up from the road, and we've pretty much done that, sir. But there's no time. The Springfield muskets are in the airport. Are you doing yours? Yeah, let's go there and run. Let's see if we're... Oh well, my men were a bit unstable due to their exhaustion, I think. But that's the only thing we can get. We can get to. here. Take the rifles are... No. It takes a long time for them to shoot down anything. Now my men are exposed. Come on, men. Fire, fire, fire! of these gates and order them to go uh
Uh oh. Halt! Halt! You're too close to the enemy! You're but too close to the road! They might come shoot at you, sir! Fall back! Don't expose your flank! No! Halt! Fall back here! I guess I can try to make an advance with some units. Now I've cleared the road, so in reality the road is open for me to keep pushing and advance with some of my men. But the AI is uh, behaving quite strange, like they are just laying down and granted it does help them save their preserve their manpower but they're not exactly shooting back at me either so that means i still accomplish what i want it just takes a longer time We just killed 50 of their men there, that's good.
have no, like there's no oh I have morale here okay uh, so I do have two skirmishers gates relatively close to each other you can see that on the map let's see Yeah, they lost their battery. What are they gonna do now? a very small uh, yeah Shoot to somebody else. Oh, okay. Again, they did fire some bullets into the where the direction of the enemy. So I guess I should be grateful. These men are slowly getting into their position. Are we running, sir? I think they are, but they're gonna be exhausted. Uh, one run back into your original regiment if that was your intention. We just need to go so far up so that we can shoot at the enemy. Whilst these men are resting up. Yeah. Oh. Kill 50 from that uh, unit. And this man. I'm 
a volley. Fire. Ready. Ready. And again, now I don't see the skirmishers that they are. They're very well concealed. Finally killed 50 men, more men. It takes a long time. Uh, but now these men are tired and not exhausted. And I know that this is what is driving up the uh, inaccuracy of the men. That the men are not as well trained as they will be in the future. Tempting to just hold back the skirmishers now because then they will have the same stamina as their main regiment. Fall back. new skirmishers and you can hold your fire now these men are no longer exhausted Little cat, you think? Hey, guy, don't you wanna play with me? Huh? Don't you wanna play with me? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're happy that that is to go all day, but uh, uh, Okay, now it's 900 men there, so that's a good, that's, that's only 2% more that we need. Uh, let's see, the, the skirmishers are moving up. Let's see. Uh, yeah, they are unstable, I know. And we can have these men run up to their little... Uh, Spawn point that might deny them supply. So I'm shooting at this regiment.
Yeah, then may feel maybe they feel a bit locked down that they have to. Uh, see, we can advance here, and we can advance here. Keep hammering them, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Breaking their morale quickly, sir. I don't see, really see that happening. Don't know, like the there must be some sort of bug because obviously they should want to engage me like in range combat. There shouldn't be like there's no advantage. Granted it takes time, but they're losing manpower. Time to capture their little point. I am. It's just going down rather slow. Uh, I think so. I think I've done the correct uh, point, right? Yeah. Yeah. It just takes a longer time due to the uh, low numbers of the men. Thousand casualties, sir. And uh, another drawback by them not engaging me, it is that they don't get the experience for, from fighting. Maybe we can advance up here. We need to increase the firepower uh, of the firing battalions. Uh, we have this to counter this battalion, so. Take out their supply route, sir. 
There, we routed those damn rebels. Now oh, surely we can fire at other stuff. Yes. Hold your positions. Over here. Whilst you men can advance up there and target the other regiment. There for the enemy. Plane's rifle is moving up here to the side. My little kitty. Advance and run. Oh, oh. I am almost taking that one and I've taken her supply route. Just keep hammering them, sir. Just keep hammering away. Twenty-four. Now it should be a major victory in terms of percentage of casualties, but uh, there is that little. Uh, that we need more men over here and it well, may, might maybe they may have enough time uh, to uh, regroup their forces okay they have that little musket screen the enemy is over there and over there the god the enemy is so passive. Like it would have been good for them to be passive somewhere where I did near their objective, right? Does that make sense that they're defending that road or maybe defending through here, the forest and all their Fortified uh, positions for the fence line over there with the woods. Uh, but uh, like they came and attacked me, that was a bit un surprising in a good way. Uh, but then they just became passive. Uh, they're just dodging essentially. But I can afford to uh, go down and just let myself. Uh, I can just shoot. Volley after volley after volley, and I will hit something eventually. Uh, okay, these men are a whole. They need to fall, go here and double time it. Like, uh, that's not particularly smart of them to let themselves get shot at. Maybe there's some sort of logic, we'll see. Uh huh, go here. Just keep going, sir. Oh, 
Oh no. Oh. Damn it. Well, sir, you can't really uh, do anything here. I swear to God, if these men route before they've taken out that little point. What? Like, uh, what's this? We were taking it at that point, and now all of a sudden they they seem to be having the, it back, or is I uh, or am I denying the enemy point uh, right now? I hope the latter is, is true. Uh. Huh. And of course they got their little uh, pointy, pointers back. So we have one point three. Okay, I suppose what we're gonna do is to fortify these buildings with some uh, of the skirmishers. They're not; they don't have the best weapons, but they will do. And now we will take. The men with the best weapons over here to the wooded area, and we are gonna hold the enemy in place here, sir. Whilst the majority of the men will advance upon their their objective, and that in turn should make enemy retreat how does that sound sounds good to me sir oh advance there and advance there oh, sounds good and now we will take that objective unless I don't think the enemy can be behind me, right? So uh yeah. Now I don't know where the enemy is. Uh but we will take this objective and we will advance upon it. Seems like we took their little spawn point. And uh But sir, wouldn't it be far better would it be better off just attacking with everything we have? We don't know where the enemy is. Oh, no, sir, we don't. We'll never know for sure where they are. But like I can tell you, sir, they're not dead. That's all you need to know. See, we can go here. We take our best battalions, just go for it, right? We just keep moving. I don't know where he, he is, so... Um, hold this little trench line, or forest line. 
and we just keep the skirmishers in, in that uh, route. What do you mean minor defeat? They suffer 28% of casualties. Oh. I can't have more than 19%. Okay. I hate that, that I lose men during the night, but I guess that's for the wounded, but I lose many more than them. So, maybe it's because I'm, I'm the attacker and I'm supposed to be punished if I try to use my artillery more. So. Go there and run. Hmm, seems like they took this objective here. And you. Colonel, what are we gonna do with the Springfield Muskets here, sir? Springfield Muskets, Springfield Muskets, sir. I do recognize all this uh, ground. Nice fortification made by the enemy. We're gonna totally ignore it. Just keep going, man. Keep killing them. See these men have held their ground. I maybe they took it, maybe they didn't didn't take it. Uh I'm all men press into the enemy. Give them the cobble steel. Well, take the Brook Road, and you men with the better weapons, you can hold this line much better than the enemy can. So take that point quickly, men, and let's get this battle over with. The enemy has plenty of points. <laughs> yeah, do the cat. Sir, you bloody seed, you know bloody well where, where we're gonna go. Yeah, take the objective now. Take Brock Road. We did it, sir. 
You're taking the objective. Thank God it's over. Thank God it's over. We won the war. <laughs> Weird. Like they want to go all the way there and these men, men want to go there. That's just uh, folly, really. Are these men where they want to be? Think the enemy will retreat from this place? An absolute disgrace. It's not so much easier to be the defender than the attacker. I don't even... Okay, good. Huh. Well, all I needed to do was to take that in a major win. Thank you, sir. We are certainly draining their resources. Colonel Alec has fallen to disgrace in the eye of his men and the public. Well, who gives a shit? Nine hundred six. So we captured some troops. Let's see, intervention is twenty five. Okay. So it was thirty before. Now it's seventy seven uh, here because weapons. We have two pieces of them. Then we have the fourteen or ordnance guns. Come on and Department of Under McKellen. Yeah, I do have a bit better. Uh, yeah, he was gonna advance up here and take that fortress. Now uh, we're taking the foundry, and we're taking this bridge. Aha! I'm trying to like tend to the wounded and just uh, hold myself. The readiness dropped here severely, but it's okay. Ohio, you are holding. Department of the West. You are going down here and you are going to siege that fortress. <sighs> oh, you have low readiness, goddammit. You don't need to tell me that.
Now we go administration reform and then uh, uh, here. It's only been a day and we have so many uh, battles. Austrian rifles are tempting. Um, and then I get two we more weapons. Like legacy rifles, they have very good accuracy, uh, but uh, like rather low rate of fire. And then we will get two more weapons here, like uh, the sniper rifle, and that will be more than enough. Maybe he can push to Graydon, take that territory. But we are waiting for all the men and all their supplies to uh, gather up. You don't want them to recover morale-wise. Now you have a low readiness. You always have low readiness. Sir. How are this army go doing? Twelve days, sixty days, eighteen, thirty-two, eighty-seven days. Yes, yeah, sir. It doesn't really look good on our, on our, for our readiness. Certainly not. If we take the coal mines, sir, that's good. Here they have some armies down here in Tennessee. Well, we're taking the copper mines, sir. this thing that would yeah like that would increase my exports uh, since I have the naval superiority the enemy can't really do stuff uh, what kind of army is that let's check if I can make some more men Connecticut can get 6,000 more men and Tennessee with a whipping 8,400 men more men to Missouri and more men to New Hampshire. Let's see here. Also New York, so that is not what we want to do. Missouri, Michigan. Let's see. No, there's still too few. Too few we number. Ohio. You have not enough. Indiana. You always have to check this. Uh, yeah, one brigade more. Maryland. And let's check. Uh, yeah. The Maryland. That's too few. Part for Northwest. Yeah, that's on the Mac. No. Okay. Let's 
add a new infantry officer to him. Okay, he has artillery. Well, we can give these men two more artillery batteries. I want three minimum in each uh, battery or army. Oh, mediocre, okay. So I guess he will get... He can get three, uh, like, half-strength battalions or one uh, full-strength battalion. So we will go for the three half-strength. It will reduce the readiness. Uh, but what we gain is... Uh, oh, damn it, sir. New Jersey. Get two more brigades if you wanted it. Oh. See. Yeah, he can get the 15 ordinance. That's way better than nothing for what they have before. And let's check. There was something else. Connect. Connect. That wasn't right. Yeah. Iowa. Don't think. What more men does in the battalion? This just makes it more harder for the enemy to get a major victory in terms of percentage. Uh, New England. Maine. Hey. Eh? No, that's too few. That's a shit. Do Connecticut have it? I have Kentucky. It certainly can get more men, right? I haven't recruited there for a while. Like, I usually, like, recruit troops in the beginning before I start recording so you don't have to watch that. Uh, but, uh... Don't doesn't look like I have a Connecticut army. So let's make a new army in Connecticut. Like us, Poike. <laughs> there we go, army of the Connecticut. Something that makes it easy for me to see uh, where I need more uh, troops and what troops they are from. So I don't have to scroll through everywhere. Infantry, infantry, cavalry. One thousand five hundred and one thousand five hundred. They say they can get their one row of, uh, or yeah, three rows, three battalions. And let's see where Army of Connecticut is somewhere. Okay. That their objective will be to take this little town over here. I do certainly don't feel safe. The 8.5. Yeah. And all of a sudden, all the readiness in the world just disappeared. What the hell, McKellen? We have five. Well, wait a minute, sir.
Yeah, the training is going going on uh, full speed ahead. And every day that passes, uh, the closer they are to getting finished in terms of numbers. How can McKellen be so... Hey, the goosey captain. Okay, let's see if New England can get some few groups. They definitely need to have something better than the Springfield muskets. Overall, I think I'm doing rather well. It's just that it's a bit disappointing that McKellen is not doing more progress. But I want to take Drayton so I can control this coal mine and the lumber works. I already have the Western Virginia army here, right? And uh, so I can go through here into Lynchburg and then st start to make a surrounding of the Virginian capital. I am taking the foundry, like so. So like I'm keeping attacking with my low readiness armies just to keep the pressure up. I want to take as much villages and that from the enemy so that they don't get the taxes for it and I get that income instead. And what will he get? He shall get a medic. Okay, that's for that army. Yeah, that's what to go. I'm almost taking Tennessee, so that's great. I think Tennessee is going to try to challenge me here. Uh huh. Army of Wisconsin. Uh, yeah. We will get that and then we'll take some of the roads. Michigan has, is almost ready enough to get moving again. And then the question is, where, sh where should I? Indiana should definitely go up to Arbington, then get get these salt works here. And like I'm very focused on this salt work, uh, but it's not really necessary for me to get there.
Oh yes, it's ready this. Is it full? Can I go down to Memphis? Looks like it, so let's go. These are two small armies, right? Yeah. Now we're taking the Tennessee territory and everything here will belong to us. They just keep getting more the Michigan. Are they advancing up or are they doing something that I don't see? Diana, you are not ready, but I need you to get here and hold the enemy in place. You're taking some of the Something that belongs to us. And now all that belongs to them and that they take that little point from us. Uh, I think Army Michigan there is doing great. Now it's rather muddy road, so I will like suffer more in terms of these vehicles and troops than before. Did they just take back their iron work? Aha, they're coming here to me. Well, sir. Let's get men going, sir. The finances. So that's good. Or maximum. Pennsylvania, so it's making ready. Take these little uh, five days for them, days ten days, and then a lot for the artillery. So they're much uh, harder to get.
We're attacking here with two armies. Huh? Ah, okay, so that, that's why. Okay, now I understand a bit why I stayed over there. They're just too fragile or too... Uh, well, I can go to Little Rock here. Then I have the Connecticut, uh, that, and then I'll go to Congo Torrent, Memphis, and take all this automatically. Uh, they have two armies here of significant size. Uh, I really should boost my farm uh, capacity. I'm not really utilizing the Union as best as I could. I have not built markets, I have not built that. Uh, just feeling like I don't really need to do it. Uh, but again, like with me, with the Union, it seems to be more about, well, I lack the readiness. My men are not fully prepared. I'm attacking before I have full capacity on. <sighs> and I don't have the weapons to fully match my numbers. What else but England? Uh. Five, five, eleven. Oh, uh oh, here they come. The West Tennessee is going there, and that leads the road open here to Knoxville. Excellent. I'll try to drive off these armies here. I hope that they are such low morale still that they will just retreat. In the face of such overwhelming odds! Damn, I will be surrounded here. It will be a little bit of everywhere. So me capturing Memphis will give me some... Now these men will march down to Little Rock. Like, I won't go attack here due to the fortress. Uh... And what I'm also trying to do is with all these uh, cores and or cores, the armies that I have, I am trying to uh, make a road down here. Then I will slowly cut off Virginia and uh, go in their rear areas. But it looks like we will have a battle here in uh, Fort Tennessee. Okay, they're strengthening their military, eh?
and in terms of uh, military weapons, uh, again, I am hoping for the diplomacy for to try get the British carbines. And other than that, we will get the Sharps rifle and maybe the machine guns uh, because they can be rather, they have rather hefty firepower. Uh, so I'm trying to get here down to Knoxville and take their iron mine. That is highly, would be highly beneficial for me to take all their industrial areas. Well, that's good that they're suffering, got some casualties. Now I do have that little road uh, next it. Army of Hutt, where are you going? We have, well, we have a lot of men, sir. We are not ready to go, though. Two days, eleven days, two days. Come on, drive off Hampton as well. It is very tempting to go for the Austin rifle. Just so I get that uh, little extra range. Are you saying, sir, you can't advance now due to low readiness? Okay, here they're going with a stronger army. Yeah. Haha, -ha, these men were not in the... These men were not coordinated in time. So it allows me to get an upper hand. I'm only facing an enemy from one direction, sir. And once that is taken, uh huh, we will fight this, sir. We will fight it to the end. Well, yeah, uh, yeah, say that. I said, like you say, hmm? hey, Lika. Oh, me, say cat. Yo, say the is a say of the yeti guliva. Well, we didn't clap at I. Yo, we didn't clap at I, me, sir. We are to defend our position. It is the Manchester Turnpike, apparently. Oh, my cat. He likes to like getting uh, cut off by the other cat. Oh, he's saying it's time. It's like he sort of holds the other cat's uh, 
like Frotor, like is the yeah, and the other guy licks him in the nose and the cheeks and uh, forehead and behind the ears, and then he's saying it's wrestle time. <laughs> And the other side, no, 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 I don't want to. Uh, let's see, six pounders, eh? Tell pounder Napoleon, where are you to place your good weapons, sir? Well, here we can uh, get sh have a good coverage of the road leading up to the town. Where are the enemy gonna come from, sir? They're gonna come through here. So we are probably not going to see an enemy that tries to get through this side. We are likely to see an enemy that tries to get, get through this crossing. Um, see then we can get this road right down, down, down. Okay, they are going to cross there. So the question is, sir, do we try to hold it to the town? Or do we keep ourselves to the more advantageous position? Here, like it would make for immersion's sake to hold the town seems better. Uh huh. Let's get these men up and running. Now I can probably can probably shoot there. Okay. Uh, I have to. These men can be there. Then these men can be along this little road. Really, sir? You have to be. You have to be extremely careful. Then we have this little uh, musket fella as well. Uh, I do feel somewhat better being like this. Uh, it can give me cover uh, where I want it. And I have this little ridge so I can see down the enemy. Come on, man. So we have that little trench system that gives us better range and then the muskets can hold this side and these men, oh they also have we are certainly gonna hammer them this is good this is good and this is decent can the cannon shoot? Looks like they can, but I won't know until the deployment. Now, Ace of Spades is also very good, but like we get more volley strength here and immunity, bit better morale in terms of uh, the enemy. Like if, when they inflict losses on us, we are, we are more sturdy. Uh, Okay, the cannons are well placed. And let's build some breastworks. So that we are fully prepared. There we go. And there we go. Uh, well, these men are said to have the early parapet. Sir, but they don't really. Let's do those. There are some best works. And wait for the enemy to come to us. Let's make us the most formidable line. I sort of wish that, like, the parapets were, like, remain. 
after the battlefield in a certain uh, region. Like so, uh, like so, you, like, I can you would be able to use the enemy's uh, parapet, and they could use mine if it would come to blows in that specific area. Oh dear heavens, here they come! Oh there! Oh dear, steady! Well, fuck! Load! Load! Hold your fire! Don't panic. Twenty men of the enemy. Oh, man, run away! Oh, fire! Sixty percent, sir. And lay down. And you men can now turn. Maybe you can shoot as well. Ah, just shoot into the flank and route them. Suffering 10 to 1 casualty so far, sir. Are they losing cavalry? Huh. Are there dismounted cavalry there that I don't see? And uh, Or was it an officer? Here they come, boys. There they come. Let's get the counter battery on these men. The more experienced crew, and let the other one just get general bombardment. Get them a volley. Ready. A. Fire.
Load. Aim. And fire. Good, go. Give them a volley, sir. And lay down. Forty-five men in the cavalry unit. Yeah, good luck in doing something with that. <laughs> in one volley, and they're all routing. Steady, boys. Steady. Okay, prepare. The enemy has no longer any cavalry support, sir. That's good. We seem to be routing them. We need to turn. Yeah, we don't want to get fired at, sir, from the flank. cover
go shoot the, the goddamn routing troops. And keep, keep firing, man. Why are you waiting for? They seem to have routed most of their infantry, sir. They're coming in here with another regiment of cavalry, of what I can see. Other than that, sir, it just seems to be they just keep uh, throwing themselves at us. Yeah, just blast them. I mean, the Missouri State Guard has arrived now to the field of the field. But well, that expl explains it. But we have one Springfield rifle covering this side, one on this side. We're just gonna hammer away. Kill them slowly but surely. Stupid enough to advance with uh, their artillery right in our Okay, sure. Doesn't really make sense, but okay, sure.
come. Damn it, there's an assault battalion, 3,000 almost. Oh, damn it. Well, we have held them off so far, sir. Advancing, sir. Well, we have a good combination here with the Springfield Musket and uh, the Rock. Then, after the Suffolk Casualty, their volley back will be less uh, deadly towards us. I say that's a damn, that's a good shot for them. Here, they're wavering. So it shouldn't really be much of a problem. Oh wow, look at that. Do do do.
thought they had 15 guns, but they actually only have 5 guns. They have not researched the artillery reform. the artillery battery makes it so that my artillery can focus on something else this seems to be a well chosen spot for me <laughs> yeah, I killed that artillery crew it seems and now they're storming in with their cavalry. Okay. Oh, look at that, man. Oh, they lost 195 men in one volley. Yeah, that's pretty. Hammer the tools. Uh, so a game I'm looking forward to playing is the uh, Western Front, uh, Great War. skirmishers and route all their artillery pieces and all of that advance up run advance up and run and five speed it I could have captured many prisoners now if I had a uh, cavalry. And now it's a wrestling match again. They're just like hugging each other and looking at me now with their like stomachs in the air, both of them.
to be the way to go to attack the Tennessee or have the main focus there and uh, uh, but McKellen he has a big army and yet he struggles with that little fortress why is McKellen not good enough like 12 pounders and must be Uh, uh, no. <laughs> and my little cat is like, if you don't play with me, I will scratch the walls. Let's see how much I've been playing now. Uh, three hours again. Uh, we'll, uh, I, like, I can like split the videos, but I prefer it to just have it in as few uh, episodes as uh, possible. Uh, so that's why I see I captured this at forty six percent. Now I'm taking their ironworks again. Mahaha! They're tossed to six men in the, the route, and now their west of the sea army is going to come here. Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, little kitty. Sweet little kitty. Yeah, I have said I. That's good. They are, have uh, retreated in the face of such overwhelming heroism. And now, have a better odds now, huh? What great, and it gives me supplies to uh, McKellen also. Like he has this river crossing, and uh, yeah, so I think it's either I'm attacking from the wrong direction, maybe that's the idea. So now we have readiness for these territory. But I should wait a little so I have. More because the more readiness I have, the quicker they gotta get new troops in. I do want to clear out these towns. Uh, let's go to Lindsborg or Bookman. That will drop my readiness go after that order. So taking them in and it That's right, now we have diplomacy one. That gives me more pounds uh, to uh, get the, the uh but I'm not gonna go Diplomacy 4, <laughs> absolutely not. I think it's time for me to go with this uh, government. It increases that and then I can get the printed money. How is the tempest going? Feeling strong, eh? Oh, we only fifteen. Thirty-three percent. They don't seem to have the morale. I think the enemy's gonna attack here. Yes, battle, battle. This is to be all carbine play. Victim must. And then he's attacking a bit, little bit of everywhere. And we have captured Memphis. 
we have to capture back this communication road. And again, this is not very helpful that the enemy is gonna get that. We have Indiana on its way. Okay, sure. Don't need to watch everything here, sir. of the wizard rifle. I don't know, like it like it, this does seem to be like uh, like the, I get more of the ordinance guns a bit faster and I don't know if the wizard rifle is really like good or what it is that makes it so special. Why I'm taking Memphis, I get the plantations from this. Uh, I, but I, afterwards, I probably will have to uh, hold uh, Mississippi and uh, just fall. So I can probably be go to Corinth also afterwards and secure that territory. Uh, so Tenotoga is. Uh, Tennessee. I go here. I capture the iron mine now, so I have even more overflow of resources. Okay. So I have the percentage chance. Uh-huh. Once I take the graph and then I have that. And uh Major Bright, okay that's good for him, sir. So catch the railroads to see we are certainly denying the enemy their iron works. But I don't understand why you are so hesitant. I am not hesitant, I'm smart. Ah, uh, the Missouri State Guard is going there, okay. Kentucky Army is also suffering a bit in terms of resources or supplies. The British rifles should definitely coming up in terms of uh, now it's 12.5 million so now we are securing that how oh, they got back they must have some army coming up here uh, that's would ex otherwise why would they like I lose control over those uh, Amish. So, uh, oh, Patterson, Patterson. Now, Potomac under. Unless it's the group comes in here. Oh, 
almost, or I should be able to get this unit. It's the battles that cause so much time to be lost. I have the Memphis power. That should give me some Oh, I should have Memphis. Yeah. Now Memphis is now under our control. That means we should go to Corinth. Take that town too. Also, the Department of the West, you're mo moving down here. Take the Little Rock. Arizona. What is this? Oh, I'm retreating. That's blasphemy, sir. How dare you retreat? You're not allowed to. I tell you when you can and can't retreat, sir. That's not me, right? It just doesn't look last week to arrive. Muskets are almost prepared to go, go to glorious combat, sir. Where will he retreat? Okay. Yeah, busy. Okay. Hit me. Military weapon. Sixty percent team Napoleons. I think then these these can have a six powder. Okay, they have two six powders. We want. Uh, yeah, of course we don't want six powders uh, for armies. gonna capture that we captured the crops and here they have an army of Tennessee here but we are not ready to go into the enemy territory that's why we're sending down army of Indiana here to take back Bowling Green whilst the army of Michigan is going there
Yes, big rig that the more, the more I play, like the faster I can get to uh, I like a five speed probably. <laughs> Atomic is coming in here, but now I have the New York army also. Wait, army Mississippi versus the Western Army, okay, where is this? Taking this boundary also, that's good. And now I'm going down here, take the threat of that, and then I can go down. Okay, I'm threatening a lot of the uh, ground. I have 46 cannons, they have 12, and they have about, yeah, about a cavalry brigade, and then some uh, just infantry. The Confederacy feels 16,000 good men under Brigadier General Cooper. Union feels 17,261 under Brigadier General Buchanan. And we are defending our positions. They have 10 points. The enemy is going to come through here. The waves, I would imagine. We have a fence line over here that covers this road quite beautifully. And a giant hill here on a forest. Let's see what we have available to us. I fear no man. See, this is a single rifle enemy. Mississippi. We want them to be. Oh, look at this beautiful. Yeah, that's a beautiful uh, place to be. Certainly a very heavy firepower. Then these men have the plane. Okay, so these men are less well trained. Uh -huh. They can be behind the cover of this. No, it doesn't look like I'm supposed to be there. Here? No. Am I supposed to be here? Oh, that's a tree line, so that's not a good spot for artillery here. No. Uh huh. Where do they want me to place the artillery, sir? Here? No. I would wish there was better spots for me to see where I want or where I should place my artillery. I can make like, like a green uh, area, mark for good vision upon a road. Almost like it's field division. Like you have this little, we press C, you can clearly see what I can. Uh, well, they have small gaps that they can fire through. And in the end, like my infantry will win here. The enemy, it doesn't really have a chance. Like, this battle is just a formi uh, formality, really. Uh, I'm just afraid that they might sh be able to shoot my men. Uh, or shoot the artillery crews. That would be unfortunate. Uh, here. Now, cavalry, you have only one job. Place yourself over here and there.
uh, but I can improve your uh, protection by giving you parapets. You should have enough for it. Yes. And now we need this Springfield Rifle Musket uh, to hold its position here as well. Ah, it did not, but it did, that did probably open up some gaps that my artillery can shoot through. So that, that's something. Then I have this decent, decent cover from this hill. Like, and if I, I can see that I, there's fences here. So... Something like this in the wooded areas. Then have this as a co connection. Then this, like like something like this, and then. Okay, sure, I can roll with this. Like this is a good flank cover. I have a fence, a trench. Then uh, my lesser troops can uh, guard that. Yes, sure. Yeah, but my artillery can shoot now. Well, the enemy did not have much in terms of artillery anyway, so, so don't panic. And let's when to speed it. I don't want to make it a four hour video. I know that that's like people won't watch like four hour video. But I have not babbled as much in this. Uh, couple of episodes I will try to keep it uh, yeah won't talk unnecessarily but a beautiful line it is sir Mississippi rifle it's a good support weapon and then the the other guys will just blast the enemy red oh oh here they come well, it looks like my artillery can still fire. They're like, oh crap. We were just like, and where were you think you were going? I should. Um, there's a fence line over there, so I don't want to get too close. So that's a bad idea. That's the weakness of this is that they have they can take this fence line over here. And be in yellow co cover as well. Send out some skirmishers here. Take them in. Looks like they have two weaker cavalry regiments. If you can shoot, shoot. Oh, here. Or here would be great. Here I can take, but the enemy is too close to me now. Well, you're supposed to shoot. How oh, can the enemy have 70 for hour? So they have three cavalry regiments with a lower number count. Because yeah, I see another 450, so another 250 cavalry brigade. The enemy is showing discipline by standing firm. Let's say minor defeat. 
But when we get the British rifles, then the Mississippi will become obsolete. Because the, the British has a rifle that has 600 yards range. Disadvantage is that it has only two rounds per minute. But in a supporting role, if that's strictly what you want to do, then that is superb. And has a very good, uh, like excellent, exceptional accuracy or something like that. Uh, bounce up and shoot the enemy. And try to position yourself in such a manner that you can get like wave after wave of bullets into the enemy without them come on man. shoot ready and shoot Every damn horseman brings joy to my heart. Okay, let's recall the skirmishers. Run now, you run, you fools! That seems to be a good spot. These men need to move up a little bit more. They want to hold that. But Maybe when the skirmishers have like retreated into their main regiment, maybe I can fire at that uh, group. Oh wow, look at that, they seem to be gathering up here. Or that's all their officers, and I can't see anybody else. Yeah, yeah that's a good trap. That should demoralize him enough. Come on. Route them, route them. Come on, man, shoot. Shoot. 
Come on. And yeah, that's good. Load. Didn't they come up with their infantry, sir? I feel like it is rather strange that they don't try to come with their infantry. They only are attacking with our their cavalry. Or is there something we're missing? And like they have uh, more men that will arrive in the battlefield, so they're attacking waves. But I do agree with you, it's just rather irresponsible of them to uh, have so few men and attack. They shouldn't be like, they're surely not going like a long flank around, right? They should just seem stupid if they did. Okay, here they come. The enemy is like infantry is far way way off. If I go to this fence line. Is it like okay I will get more uh, cover. The day is over. There Oops. <laughs> Was not exactly supposed to fight already. Well, it's nice of them to see it. Well, fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, no. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Uh huh. <laughs> Make sure that you fire at our cavalry. We can do it, ah. Yeah. There we go. A routed enemy. Fall mm. back. And fall back. Come on, man. Hold enemy in place. Oh, they haven't. Here they come. Well, sir, you know what to do. Send out some skirmishers. Before they rally up. So that we can get some first shots in. Maybe, just maybe, they will attack us. Maybe, just maybe. That's good enough. Yeah, like we we're just provoking them to go forward and then we shoot them. And apparently, my cavalry artillery can shoot now. Okay.
It's a good, but they're not gonna come through there. They want to go to the ten pointer, of course. And now we can speed things up again. The cavalry, you should just be a morale boost. Oh, oh crap. Come boys! The Mississippi rifles are not supposed to be. Oh, he's supposed to be linked up with that. Okay. Well, just blast him. Shoot them. Shoot them. Hey!
not the correct way of doing things. Uh, because the bigger regular takes much more damage than another regular.
there. Hey, I made your victory! So we can... Down some infantry, so, but we won. I mean, we here. Yeah. On October the 11th, 1861, it's a federal major victory. Hey, Gomez. Did it help or tip them? Did it help? Did it help? Yeah, did it? Yeah, did it give? We captured two thousand enemy rifles, sir. And we reclaim Memphis, Lafayetteville. That is indeed comforting to know that such men of your caliber is uh, holding the fortress, sir. Or is the fortress going now? 43%, so we are losing. Still, we are making some progress. Let's have the New York all here. Just uh, too much. Uh, the Potomac wants to attack them, let them attack. I think now it's because it's like winter. Now, now is the time to slow down on the. Uh, it just costs too much. I need more men. Uh, I'm holding this, but I need more men to actually take more ground. I want take this port for example but I can't do it uh, the enemy is to um, like I'm quite uncertain how I will the men will do uh, but here is good because I take these pounds then that's quite a bit of income for me Kentucky Uh, what I want to do is go administration reform again and uh, and then also improved infrastructure. I need it for the armies. I've seen many like low supply. Can't have that. What's this? The army of New York, we need more better brass, but you don't have that much. This is quality weapon. So you are picking through. 
to suddenly get the support and it's done. But now my friends, it's time to end the big video before it becomes too long. But overall, we have done well in this episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.